problem there. Um, I sometimes call elevator using different name. I call it acceleration machine because in elevator uh, there are two types of acceleration. Acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second every second and the other acceleration due to two, two, uh, two heavy mass suspended on a pulley. So we're going to find that out now. Very exciting. Very exciting. We're going to use Newton's second law. The law we know and we love. The two pulley elevator problem. The two pulley, no, the two masses. Suspended on a pulley, so there is a pulley. Uh, this mess is there are four people in this elevator, uh, in this uh, in this one. So we call it two one is eleven fifty kilogram. Mass two is one thousand kilogram. Okay. Now, what we need to find? We need to find uh, acceleration. And we need to find turn and force. Okay, let's draw the force diagram first. M to the downward force, and we call F to F T two turn and force. This is M one Z. And this is F T1. Gravitational force always downward. This is gravitational force always downward. Now, this is accelerating upward. Accelerating upward because the, uh, the strain, this is attached by a strain to a bigger mass. So, this mass will, if this mass go down, this mass will go up. So, this is accelerating upward. Accelerating upward means positive A. This is accelerating downward. Accelerating downward means a negative A. That means minus MA. That means plus MA. That means M minus M1A. That means plus M2A. Another uh, observation should be there. F T1 is equal to F T2 is equal to F T. Because both mass attached by a rope or a string, since they are attached by a string, the tangent force should be same. The tangent in the rope should be same. Okay. Now, Let's understand some physics. The M1, M sub 1, Z has to be greater than F T1. Ten tension force 1 for M1 to, ac to accelerate for, for M1 to accelerate downward. F T two has to be F T two has to be less than M two Z for M two to accelerate upward. The second observation is the tangent force. Tangent force F T one is equal to F T two is equal to F T. Tension force is same on the both row. Now you're gonna set the equation. Setting equation is very easy. We're gonna do it only on the y direction because x, the elevator, nothing, nothing going on at the x direction. Everything is going on at the y direction. F T two. This is positive is upward force. This is negative is downward force. M two z is equal to M two a. 
Now we're gonna write this equation. For how are we gonna write this equation? We're gonna write f t one minus m one d is equal to negative m one a. Now we're gonna we're gonna multiply this guy by negative. If we do multiply this guy by negative, this positive sign become negative sign, this negative sign become positive sign, and this negative sign become positive sign. We claim that Ft2 is Ft1 is equal to Ft2 is equal to Ft. So we're gonna change it to Ft and then change it to Ft. F sub t. Because transient force, we understood in, at the beginning that transient force on the two rows are the same. So they cancel out. So you're gonna write M1Z minus M2Z is equal to M1A plus M2A. Here, Z is the common factor, M1 minus M2. Here, A is the common factor, M1 plus M2. Now isolate A because you have to find acceleration. If you do that, M1 minus M2, M1 plus M2. M1 is 1150 minus 1000. 1150 plus 1000. If you do math, you're gonna get 0.68 meter per second. Remember accelerate. So this elevator, this one, accelerate downward at 0.68 meter per second every second, and this one upward at 0.68 meter per second every second. Now we have to find the tension force. Let's do find the tension force. Um, let's make a room here. Oh, we have to use that in this equation. Uh, the tension force is Ft1, Ft2 is equal to M2Z plus M2A. So Ft2 is M2Z plus A. So Ft2 is M2 is 1000, 9.8 plus 0.68, 10,500 Newton. Now we're gonna do second. Now we're gonna do the other part. We just did the uh, this part. So now we're gonna write this part. So F T one is equal to M one Z uh, minus M one A. Okay. So M one Z minus A. M one is eleven fifty. Z is nine point eight. And A is 0.68, and this gives you 10,500. So both tension force are the same, and the acceleration. This is moving down 0.6, 0.68 meter per second every second. This is moving up 0.68 meter per second.